good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I figured we would work in my um, napkin glue book. I haven't worked in this in a minute, so I figured this would be a good time to work in that. Um, so I just, I have this huge bucket full of napkins that uh, most of them have already been like debacked, but I was doing some cleaning out. Uh, <laughs> well, at this point, it's been a couple weeks because uh, as you guys might know already, uh, this past week has been very uh, interesting to say the least. Um, I'm not sure what other word to use to describe this last week. Um, other than interesting. So I'm just gonna, gonna start laying some napkin down and uh, we're gonna, we're just gonna play. Cause I like playing. And this is like super watered down Mod Podge. Um, it's got some coffee water in it instead of just regular old water regular old water. Um, I don't remember which video that was that I showed you guys how I accidentally came across this. Um, but yeah. Um, come here. I'm gonna put this down here. I'm gonna I'm gonna chop this off here and we're gonna use the rest of this throughout the book. But yeah, I don't I don't remember exactly when I accidentally came across this little technique, if you will. I'm not sure that a technique is really what you would call this. I don't know what you would call it. I would call it uh, gluing stuff down. <laughs> That's what I would call it. So anyway, the, uh, the ever so popular question with us YouTubers, how is everyone? <laughs> I'm doing good. Um, I know a lot of people, I just want to give a blanket, um, thank you to everyone. Um, and a, a very blanket cause I can't, I, I don't know how to sit down and just like reply to every single person who has private messaged me or sent me an email or sent me a text or whatever. Um, like there's been quite a bit of you. And, um, so I just want to say thank you for one. Uh, and for two, I am fine. Um, I mean, yeah, it kind of stinks being a grown up stinks, <laughs> but you know, Hey, we got to do what we got to do, you know? And, uh, sometimes it stinks, but life goes on, it does. And, uh, it's all right, you know? So anyway, I am super far behind on, on videos. Um, who would have thunk, you know, taking a week off <laughs> would have put me that far behind, you know? So I've got to get out. Uh, so I recently told you guys that I have to redo the Roxy video where, you know, you turn a, um, a uh, what is it? like junk mail or recycled product or something like that, you turn it into a journal cover. Yeah, I've got to redo that one because the one that I did, um, I don't know, the video was like, the video was fine, but the audio was like all jacked and wonky and whatnot. So yeah, there's that. Um, oh, my husband did buy me a new mic. Um, we haven't uh, installed it or anything yet. But he did buy me a new mic, so I'm pretty excited to play with that. And hopefully that means that I will no longer have to... Because uh, right now what I'm doing is I am recording. And then I have to 
and put or upload my recording into an editing software. And then I, from there, um, I am like boosting the audio way, way, way up. And so hopefully what this new mic is going to do is it's going to um, allow me to not have to do that. So there might be a, a test video or two, um, but maybe not. I don't, I don't really know because you don't really have to do a test video because all I have to do is record and upload it like privately or whatever. So I can, um, I can test the audio out and make sure it's all copacetic. So I have to um, do that once that uh, once that mic is all installed. But it's gonna take a minute, so it's not gonna be anytime soon, I don't think, because I have to put my rooms back together. Uh, my rooms are like scattered right now. Uh, most of my room, uh, most of my stuff is in my garage actually right now. Uh, most of my like inventory stuff, that in my kitchen. <laughs> uh, why? Because, well, that was the, where we decided to put the kitchen table. Um, so I have a kitchen table that I had in my storage closet. And uh, so we just, we moved it into, well, the kitchen. Um and so I've got to put all that back and then let's see. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I am pretty excited. I got my second wholesale account. Um, I am, I'm really, really, really excited. Uh, the second wholesale account that I got was Chow Bella and um, I am, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't, I don't know if you guys know Chow Bella paper lines, but they're really, 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 really pretty. I love Chabella. Um, so I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, I know that was very random, but <laughs> um, pretty excited on that one. Uh, and if you don't already know, I do have my Stamperia wholesale account. So I am selling Stamperia now um, that I am also very excited for. I love, love, love Stamperia. Um, so I am waiting on a few others. I don't really want to spread myself too, too thin with the wholesales um, just because that's like one very large chunk of change out of pocket right then, right there, you know. So I don't really want to do that. It's a little scary <laughs> to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, I am, I'm gradually getting there. Um, so look forward to that hopefully in the near ish future uh because it is coming from italy both companies that i uh, am wholesaling are uh, european companies um, my particular where i get my stamperia is actually hungry um i always thought they were an italian uh company i didn't know they were from hungry hungry but yeah. Uh, and maybe they're just all over the world and they were based in Italy. I don't know, but I always thought they were Italian. I know Ciao Bella is Italian. Um, and I'm pretty excited. Like I said, I'm really excited for that. Um, I'm just kind of collaging little scraps of napkin and ripping the napkin apparently you should be gentle <laughs> um oh, i still have one of these let's put that on a different page um oh here we'll do this this one that's pretty i'm just gonna cut this um right in quarters because it's it I think it's a butterfly on each napkin. I actually did not purchase this. This was given to me. Um, I believe this came from Miss Eve over in Switzerland. Um, 
That's another thing uh, is they have beautiful napkins over there. That's actually where I get a lot of my napkins is not Switzerland specifically, but is Europe. Not that we don't have pretty napkins over here, but everybody and their mama's brothers, uncles, cousins, nephew has napkins from over here, you know? So I just scour the planet and, um, and get some napkins. It's kind of what I do though. It's funny. I've told you guys several times, my kids will come in here. They're like, are you shopping again? I'm like, yep, that's what I do. I love it. I mean, that's, I, it's literally what I do. I just, I go shopping and you know, I find all the stuff that I can find and you know, try to get a really good deal so I can in turn give to you guys for a really good deal. You know, it is the, it is the glory and fun of, you know, being, uh, what's it called? A distributor, distributor. I am putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable on that word. But anyway, um, I don't know. It's fun. I get to bring you guys supplies as well as, you know, homemade or handmade items. I mean, technically they're homemade, but you know, um, there you go. We're going to put this one on a different page because it's like, it's all Christmassy and whatnot. So we're going to put it on its own page. This one right over here. Lego. Lego, my ego. Okay, let's do it this way. So uh, in my time off, I started watching Grey's Anatomy again. Um, but this time I started watching it with my youngest daughter. Uh, the first time I started watching it, I started watching it with my oldest daughter, who is now, you know, 19. She watches shows. She still watches shows with me, but, um, but yeah, I started watching it with her the first time. And, um, so I just started over basically and started watching it with my youngest daughter. Um, we watched for a while, we were watching, um, The Good Doctor. And she was so cute because she was just like, I want to be a surgeon. I was like, all right, cool. And uh, then we started watching Heartland. And um, then she was just like, I want to be a veterinarian. But it was really cute because um, she said one day, uh, she just, she misspoke, but it was really cute because she was like, I want to be a veteran. I'm like, no, 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 we're, we're good. We're good. You, you really, really don't, don't want to be a veteran. And she's like, but I do. I love animals. Like, uh, yeah, a veteran is a retired or disabled military member. She's like, oh, so dad. I was like, well, not really. Dad is still active. My brother and my dad are both veterans. Um, but your dad is still active. So technically he is not a veteran. But anyway, I corrected her and I was like, I think you mean veterinarian. She's like, yeah, that thing. I was like, but I mean, technically speaking, you could be a veterinarian and a vet, a veteran. Um, what in the world? Oh, um, so anyway, I was just like, yeah, technically you could be a veteran and a veterinarian. But, you know, I would prefer <laughs> if you didn't. But at the same time, I mean, being civilian right now is really scary. Like, the uncertainty is so scary. And it's even scary for us because, like, he retires in five years, right? So I'm just like, you know... Do I really want him to retire right now? 
or, you know, do we want to stay in as long as possible? And I, it's kind of funny because had you asked me 10 years ago, I would have been like, nope, get out. Let's go. We're done. But now it, the uncertainty of the world just makes it so scary. You know, like, is he going to have a job? Is my job, is my business going to be sufficient enough to, you know, for us to survive on, you know? And it's scary. The world out there is scary. So I have mad respect for all the civilians in the world. Obviously, I have a lot of respect for the military, but civilians, man. It is so incredibly scary. I would be stressed out of my mind constantly. I don't know. And I mean, 90% of my family are civilians. Like my dad is retired. Um, well, he's not retired. He, he's a veteran, but he's not retired. Um, he, is, uh, he does have disability through the VA. And my brother also, my brother was retired. My brother was medically retired. Um, but, uh, that's, that's it. As far as my family goes, uh, my husband's family, both of his grandfathers, his maternal grandfather, as well as his paternal grandfather, both were in the Navy. Um, I don't know how long they were in the Navy, but I know they were both there. So do you guys have family members that are in the military, the active duty military or retired or, you know, whatever? Um, I think it's kind of cool though. Cause, uh, one of my really good friends, I mean, you guys all know her, her, her name is Eve. Um, her husband, Patrick and Wayne actually get along really, really well for one, but they're both, they're both military. Like he was, um, he was in the Swiss army. Um, which I think is really, really cool. Um, they traded, they traded patches back and forth, which was really awesome. Um, <clears throat> Oi. okay. Sorry about that. Oi, my throat is so scratchy. Ah, uh, I'm just drinking my tea. Um, so yeah, uh, Eve sent me these and like this whole pile that I'm working in right now, these are all ones that Eve sent me. Um, and as you can see, there's lots of butterflies. I love butterflies. Um, there, I like this one too, because it's very springy. Very springy. I like this one. So yeah, anyway, um, Wayne has been military. He's been Navy for whew, 15 years. Well, 15 and a half now at this point, because August will be 16 years. It's crazy, right? I just can't believe I'm that old. And it's, it's really cool though, because I remember how long he has been in the military, um, based off my son's age, because he's been in the military one year more than my son's age. So his chronological age, his, uh, number 
um, so he's 14 right now. And my, uh, he, he was born in 2005 and, or I'm sorry, he was born in 2006 and, um, Wayne joined the military in 2005. He joined the military the same year that Ivan hit because he was in boot camp when Hurricane Ivan hit New Orleans. I kind of just want the butterfly. I wonder if I could just like. Mm, let's see. We're going to try this out. I'm just going to like a very rough. There we go. Because I kind of want to keep most of this down here. And I'm just doing some collage stuff. So how is everyone doing as far as like lockdowns and such go? I know in a lot of places there's um, a lot of lockdowns going on and um, you can't really get out and do things like you want to. <clears throat> I actually haven't been out. Um, we went out if you can even call it that, but we went out last Thursday, but we were just like staying at a different house, basically. Uh, that's really the extent of us, anyone, any one of us going out. Oh, yeah. It's all glued together. Oh, I didn't even realize it was 22 minutes. Well, I guess we can call it a day for today, huh? After I unglue my pages. <laughs> They're kind of all glued together. But I actually have a few of these little, uh, these songbooks like this. And so I can definitely make more of these little books. These little napkin books. Definitely makes using napkins, I think, a little bit easier. Because you can just cut out the page and then either make a card or a tag or, you know, really whatever. You can glue it to a cover. I might actually make, um, oh, I might actually do that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I might do that with, uh, I'm just going to separate this stack from the rest of the book here. All right, so I feel like we actually didn't get through that many <laughs> napkins. <laughs> oh my gosh. One day, one day I will get through these napkins. But this is what I have right now. So, um, yeah, one day, maybe. I have, a, I have a couple napkins. So anyway, um, yeah. I am hopefully will start working on these challenges to get the videos up for you guys. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm a little bit behind, so just disregard that. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me and, um, thanks for hanging out and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.